So we're outside here at my grandma's house, and this is her front porch area. Um, we're gonna walk over here to her car. If you look inside of it here, you can kind of see what she's been doing in her car too. She's been hoarding in her car. It goes all the way in the back. You can see in the back because the windows are super tinted. But everything up here in the front. Walk up here. And say so you want to get in the front door. That's as far as you can get it open. Right there. So we made it in through the door and I'm standing in the one spot where you can stand. And this is what you walk into. As you can tell this is where you go through the living room. But there's no floor. I don't know how deep that goes in some spots. So right here is literally the entryway. Uh, it's supposed to go into the formal dining room or the formal living room. Um, but obviously that is blocked. The only thing that's fairly clear, surprisingly, is the stairs. Which makes sense because she has to go upstairs because her room is that first door right there on the left. Awful. So I walked a little bit, didn't want to film while I was walking because I didn't want to break my neck. But this is the downstairs bathroom and hallway into the laundry room. Here's the bathroom. I'll turn on the light here. And there's a fly strip right here. To catch all the flies. Don't know what's going on in this bathroom. Don't know how well she uses it. But we're going to walk to the garage here. But I don't bust my head. It's the laundry room. Don't know how she's able to use the dryer. It's right there, the door for the dryer's right there underneath all that. And then here's the garage. We're gonna go in here. This is the garage. Completely full of stuff. And then we're gonna go good old fridge that she keeps soda in. And I cleaned it out not too long ago. But this one looks like it says I don't know if you can see it, but it says to me 7208. So, this is what we're dealing with in the garage. Alright, we're here in the living room. Um, I positioned myself here on a chair. Um, that is where we were, and this is where it took us. The living room here, full of stuff. That shelf in the far corner over there is what had VHS tapes all over it. Um, this was the dining room. I'm not sure what it is now, other than a storage unit for, looks like, coffee cups. Um, and there's her kitchen. I don't know if she's able to cook, although she says she uses um, her cooking utensils all the time. But that's her stove. Don't know what she cooks in it. Alright, and this one is where the formal dining room was supposed to be. It is now a makeshift, what looks like a sewing room. And stuff like a small little pathway here. We can always follow this little path. And we can go into the formal living room. And what you're going to notice here on the ground here soon is dog feces. Because she's a little dog. In a little box right around here. Dog feces all over there. All around. Dog poop everywhere. And that is supposed to be the exit to the front door. Alright, we made it up the stairs here. Fairly clear, so I didn't bust my head. But this is supposed to be the main hallway. Uh, if you go straight back, that is a guest room, which is a giant sewing room full of fabric and other things. Um, that door open right there is another guest bedroom. As you can see, there's stuff on it. We can get to it a little bit later. That door right there is closed, but it's another guest bedroom. Um, it's one of the cleaner ones. Surprisingly, this door right here 
is the guest bathroom. Actually very clean because as you can tell the walkway is blocked. And in here is her bedroom. And her bedroom is a mess. She sleeps on that far one. Far bed way over there. And we can walk in here to her bathroom. Which also entryway has fly strips. So you walk in. You still use the toilet, it's available. But this is her sink. Everywhere. Full of stuff. Dog food. Don't know how she's able to use that area very well. Her shower. I'm assuming she gets out right there. Not a lot of room for a 70 some odd year old woman. Her medicine. Yeah, just full of stuff. Small little pathway to get in and out. It's not looking too good. And then. This is a little pathway to her closet. Looks like a canyon of clothes. And you come in here, and I can hopefully find the light switch. This is her closet. Don't know where. Oh, there's a little patch of floor. Don't know where, where she tries on stuff. I'm assuming right in the patch of floor. But yeah, this is her bedroom. Alright, I'm attempting here to get into this guest bedroom um, don't know how successful I'll be, I'm standing on things right now but get you a little view of what's inside um, I can't really get in because there's no floor we can walk back here to the guest bedroom which don't know what's in here. Well, there's a lot of Pyrex dishes everywhere. She's just got stuff everywhere. I don't know. We can easily take a walk back here. There's somewhat of a path. But I'm walking through random spider webs right now, which is kind of awesome. Shows how long it's been, uh, just hasn't been back here. This. It's her sewing room. Fabric everywhere. She basically owns her own Joanne fabric. Here. And this is the entryway. So, her agility for being seven, in her 70s is amazing.